guys welcome back before proceeding to this video if you are new to my channel hi guys my name is amita singh highly recommend you to please press the subscribe button and press the bell icon to get the notification of my upcoming video i frequently upload video on interview preparation how to grow your career in it field and everything related to inside organization so if you are interested in that please follow me now let's get started with today's video Today, in today's video, I'm going to share few more few more experience of Gen C, um, which is shared by some of the students from different background, and I would like to share it with you guys so that you will be aware of what kind of questions that has been asked in different comp, you know, in different interviews. So let's get started. Uh, let's start with mechanical engineering students interview. Starting with, hello, ma'am. I had. Chancey interview on 19th September I have done mechanical engineering along with minor specialization in CSE okay the first he, the interviewer asked what is minor specialization then he replied like uh, he has taken one computer subject per semester along with the mechanical subject i'm not sure this really happens or not in uh, all the colleges because i haven't seen this so he replied like c++ oops data structure he has means taken in you know in his semester so should we start with mechanical question or computer questions hmm. i think his interview um, might be like uh, more technical in terms of both the field it is going to be i am i'm not sure let's let's proceed so he replied like uh, computer questions what are different types of control system in c++ differentiate do while and while loop break and continue what is polymorphism inheritance difference type of uh, type of them okay and multi level versus multiple inheritance what does protected access modifier do what is linked list stack versus queue what is binary search tree you know which is the latest iphone model why this question okay what is difference between iphone 12 and iphone 13 okay so he replied i answered 113 iphone 13 uh, higher model of 120 hertz screen and he asked what do you mean by 120 hertz okay then hooke's law zeroth law of thermodynamics ci versus si engine octane number tell me about your most interesting project coding questions like print multiple of 5 up to number 90 and for number that are divisible by 5 and 3 print to 0 okay three aptitude questions one class of 80 student 40% took commerce and rest took science what is the probability that the student selected randomly will be from science branch angle between minute and hour hand at the time 730 simple problem on ages uh guys this might look uh, more technical in both the terms like in cse and mechanical but don't judge yourself based on his experience because this uh, person is uh, i feel is a mastermind <laughs> he has done both <laughs> mechanical engineering as well as cse he has quite uh, did well i guess in both the if he has answered all these question then he is quite good in both the uh, field mechanical as well as uh, cse that's quite interesting thank you so much whoever shared it i cannot reveal the name uh, let's keep all the name anonymous as of now now the next interview is uh, okay my name is tanya i'm from mechanical engineering it started with introduction then how you convert string to int data type what is global and local variable um i see this question uh, yesterday also i have uploaded one video i i saw this question it is coming like again and again global versus no that was instance variable global local instance just read about these variables guys uh, all cse and non cse student why you joined cognizant what do you know about cognizant explain your final year project then if you self learn java from which source you learn java what is try and catch block try and catch block is also yesterday i saw one of the experience where this question were asked one two one non csc student write a program to reverse a string what is final keyword what is equal method 
again this question is repeated from yesterday's one what is final keyword what is jdk what is used for jdk what is gre what is jvm what is finally block what is thread how you sort the element without sorting method what is method overriding what is function overloading and many more because of my interviews over 35 to 40 minute they didn't ask any single questions from my branch that's good if you wanted this to be happen then aptitude aptitude also they did not ask but my friend from mechanical goes through tough they asked full from the core subject means around four to five aptitude question too means her friend where asked the aptitude question and core field subject but she was lucky to not uh, you know not even having a single question now the next is also next experience is also from mechanical branch before proceeding to this video guys if you are fresher and watching this video then let me tell you i have a special announcement for you those who are appearing in different companies guys if you want something better some big package and something related to profile based hiring then there is an option called relevel relevel is a platform where you can take one test and you will be eligible for 50 plus companies just by taking a single test you are eligible for 50 plus companies so it is it does not require your degree or your scores or um, I got less than 60 percent in 10th 12th XYZ Relevel is not asking for that all they need is your skills if you have the skills take a test and just sit and relax they will be creating your score uh, to your profile they will be sharing it with different companies companies will be calling you for an interview and that's it it's as simple as that if you haven't registered your, your slot Jan, I would be highly recommend you to please take the test and let's see, hope for the best. Now let's proceed with this video. No, this is from chem chemical engineering student. Uh, thank you for sharing your experience. My CTS uh, written exam on 4th September and today I had my interview. The interview was approximately 30 minutes and they didn't ask me to introduce myself and started with my core field questions like how to separate gold from its ore. Okay, in which solvent gold is soluble? Law of thermodynamics, Hess law, open and closed system. I was able to answer to, um, you know, all I guess all the above question she wanted to write then he asked me two reasoning question uh, then I said I know basics of C programming then he uh, he said uh, that okay let's take one more technical interview round for you he asked me oh, okay I wish the interviewer would have asked her like uh, introduce yourself then she would have or he would have shared said like okay I am I'm interested in C programming and all Okay, it's like a twice from the core subject as well as from, you know, CSE background. Pointer, structure, array, linked list, local and global variable. Again, local and global variable from, from a non-CSE IT student. Linked list as well. What is, uh, what is, what, what is variable? What is data type? Type of data type? Huh? Types of data type? Call by value, call by reference, um, union, example of data types? data structure difference between uh, get ch and get che okay he also asked me about ui ux as i mentioned in my cv that's all quite technical in terms of both the field now let's move to the next interview experience today i have completed my gen c interview i am from electric and telecommunication student Okay, <clears throat> it started with his introduction, then he asked me my machine learning project, then he asked me in which programming I am most familiar with, I said C programming language, then he asked me to code a program in C to swap two numbers without using a third variable. This is very popular question I see this time as well, last year as well, this time too. Then he asked me about some basic concept of C like constructor, union, call by value, call by reference. Then he asked me some core topic questions like uh, repeater, microprocessor, 
etc then he asked me one aptitude question on topic from uh, of uh, speed and distance then he asked me which new technology do you want to learn in future then he told me what you are good in programming uh, that you are good in programming but average in core so i will give feedback to hr and will be will get results of technical round from your college my interview was 45 minute long and result of technical round is awaited all the best hope for the best and let me know if you get uh, means let me know to everybody whoever is sharing their experience do let me know once you all you know once you all get your result respected ma'am the question the interview questions were introduce yourself your strength and weakness i had mentioned about c programming language hence what is difference between p o p and o o p okay iteration recursion with code example three aptitude question what is futuristic uh, materials core branch related question okay what is this branch is this a uh, mechanical i'm not sure uh only you guys can tell me what is this uh if given a managerial post how would you manage operational and maintenance of our organization as a big as, as big as cts do you have any question any more question the interview went for a uh, real around 30 minutes and this year after the tr plus hr round they shortlisted they shortlisted certain candidate and conducted a hr round again in which they were verifying the documents only and asking whether they are available for internship or not so ma'am when the interviewer asked me this question i said i am available but i am afraid that my college may not allow for internship so in this case do you uh, do they give us an option between csd and intern after the selection list is provided okay so guys listen to me first whoever is having doubt that the college will college will not allow you for internship it is not possible your college cannot stop you for any kind of internship especially an internship that is happening on campus i mean Uh, the company which is giving you internship is shortlisted the candidate from on campus than the college they have to they all the colleges have to allow their student for the internship so don't be afraid that the college won't, won't allow talk to your tpo because this is a on campus interview and if the company is asking you to join you have to join you can join it there is nothing to worry about it and the college has to give you cgpa and all the scores based on your inter, uh, internship now point number 2 even suppose if you are not opting internship then yes you will be by default given csd program of cognizant so nothing to worry about either you will be having csd or internship if you are opting in terms internship then it's well and good and talk to your tpo talk to your uh, teachers they will definitely allow you and if if you are not interested in taking up the internship then go for csd program okay no one can stop you here especially your college because college is uh, the one who is letting you to sit for different companies and they have tie up with different companies so they will not stop you now let's move to the other question hi ma'am i have completed technical round on 16 september it was held between 9:30 okay thank you so much for providing all the information in so much detail first he asked me to show my aadhar card then i gave my self introduction then he told me to give answer of two aptitude question on cost price and selling price i was able to solve one question i told i don't have any idea about this uh, for the second question because i don't know that Uh, then he asked me difference between c and python arrays and why uh, we are using it difference between list and tuple difference between break continue pass in it method in uh, python linked list from data structure okay then he asked me to give code of factorial and run it on a superset compiler it uh, run successfully then 
in my resume i gave about my internship in data science then he asked me what is data science and machine learning then he asked me about my project mentioned in my resume uh am i selected for hr round i got result for technical round on 20 okay i am selected for hr round okay okay on 28th of september today 21st september 2021 i am going to attend my hr round okay thank you so much for providing this much in detail like this much detail experience and hope for the best wish you luck hope you get selected now the next interview experiences first she asked me to show college id then uh, you know the id card without asking about intro this is happening with i guess um, number of students without asking the intro she asked me to explain one of my project mentioned in resume then uh, then ask questions on java can we use multiple catch block in single try block and how super keyword polymorphism structure and class then three apti questions unit unitary method ages ratio and proportion that's all so this person uh, i guess this is from she or he is from uh, cse background that's why uh next interview experience is uh, for cognizant the interviewer asked her um for to show her aadhar card college id why from e c e to it domain project and questions related to project okay okay projects and questions related to project technology is known c uh, she says she might have said c or written in her cv c then the questions were from binary search definition and told to write the program binary search to a e c e student okay fine recursion certificates done uh, and it is a certification done or not um, want to ask any questions and that's all and wind up the interview okay that's pretty much i have as of now thank you guys thank you for sharing your experience that really means a lot to me because um, even i did not ask these people they have shared their experience that uh, really means a lot to me because uh, it is really going to help so many student trust me it is really going to help a lot of student and thank you guys keep sharing your love and support for my channel and if you haven't subscribed it yet please go ahead and press the subscribe button and keep sharing your experiences and your branch name and if even if you are getting selected in any company do let me know i would be happy to inform it on my channel and i'll happy to interview it you on my channel thank you guys thank you for watching this hope this video was informative to you